Hello, W4UIE here from SASQ, and today we're going to talk about the Alpha Antenna HOA Buster Rain Gutter Antenna System. All right, here's the gutter in question I'm going to be converting into an antenna. So we go up about 24 feet, and then to the side there, it wraps around the corner a little bit, and it, uh, you know, that's maybe about six feet, and then we're going to go this way about 40 feet or so and then I've got some more rain gutter coming down here I've got another downspout which is also 24 feet and we go up and we go around a corner and then I've got about another good 20 feet right there and so that's what we're gonna be looking at converting into an antenna on this house right here. This is the alpha match, which is the key component of the HOA Buster system. It's essentially a transformer. You connect this transformer to your rain gutter. Here I have a little lead that goes over to my rain gutter. We'll follow it along and we'll look right in here and you can see down in there where that is connected to the, and the, the, the alpha match. So that connects the rain gutter to the alpha match. And then we run from the alpha match through some coax. Go up the side here. And then that runs into the house right here. So that's how I connect it inside the house. I am using a couple of the Comet window jumpers. They're not optimum, but they do work. And uh, we connect that all together. So when we look over here, let's look a little bit closer at the match. It's about the size of maybe a Red Bull can. It's not that big. We've got it connected with a brace here. Now, they send you a little spike with the kit, a 12 inch spike. I do not use the 12 inch spike because I've got this thing about four feet in the ground. It was here, it had a satellite dish mounted on it and it just matched up perfect. It's nice and sturdy, keeps the whole assembly off the ground. And I use that to ground it instead of the spike that it comes with. Cause the spike they send you is essentially like a nail. It's not very good. If you don't have something like this, you could uh, uh, you know put it on a grounding rod I recommend you have that probably at least four or five feet in the ground though. All right, if you look right there, you'll see I have a three position switch. The coax runs in from the rain gutter right here. It comes in, goes to the switch. And then I've got uh, three different radios hooked up. I have my um, FT-101 Bravo there. I've got uh, right there, I've got uh, 17300, what I call 7300A, and then 7300B right here. So that's where it comes in, and I switch it up before it gets to my station. All right, so we'll, we'll hook it up to the analyzer here, and we'll see how it does. So uh, on on uh, 160 meter right here, it's about 1.76. So we'll go to uh, let's go to. 80 and let's see how we do okay that's a little a little high a little high um right there so we're about five three five four it's kind of fluctuating a little bit let's try let's try uh 60 and see where it's at okay about one one point one point nine or so Let's try, let's try 40. About, about 1.5, 1. 1. 1. 1.56. Okay, let's try 20. All right, let's try, let's try 30. Thirty one point six eight. Let's do uh, 
Now we'll do we'll do we'll do twenty. One point six two. Let's do let's do seventeen. One point two eight. Let's do fifteen. One point five. Let's do uh, let's do let's do twelve. Do twelve. Two point six. Go ahead, and we'll take it down to ten. Not three point three. There we go. So that's a good view on the SWR across that uh, that rain gutter there. All right, so let's uh, go ahead and we'll put the FT-101 in tune mode. I've got it warmed up already. So what we're going to do is we'll hit the switch right here. We're going to go to tune, right? And everything else is already set up where it needs to be. Let's go ahead and look at this SWR when I key it up and see what it see what it hits at. Yep, that looks like 100 watts and uh, one to one SWR right there using the tuner, of course. Tunes right up. A uniform Yankee Echo was in a W4? Yes, Whiskey 4, uniform Yankee Echo. Okay, uh, please copy 5 9, and we are an Art Radio Club of America member. Go ahead. I copy you 5 9 in Cobb County, Georgia. That's North Georgia, 73s, and good luck, sir. The 73s, and have a good time. All right, so what we're going to do now is we're just going to see just if the if the radio, um, you know, the bands are kind of crappy today, but we're just going to see how the radio tunes it up. We're going to start 80 meter because uh, that was that was the worst SWR. We'll see if the radio will catch it. It, it, it does. It tunes it tunes it right up. Whiskey four uniform Yankee Echo testing. That radio caught it. Uh, SWR didn't move at all. We'll go. Let's go to. Uh, We'll go to 40. We'll see how the tuner catches it. And it did. Whiskey 4, uniform Yankee Echo testing. Absolutely no band activity today. Go to uh, 14. Taps a couple times, it gets it. Whiskey 4, uniform Yankee Echo testing. Go to. Let's go to. Try uh, 17 out. Whiskey 4, uniform Yankee Echo testing. Let's go to you know, 15. Whiskey 4, uniform Yankee Echo testing. Try. Try 12. Yeah, that's working a little bit. That may that may not have caught it. Whiskey 4, uniform Yankee Echo testing. Whiskey 4, uniform Yankee Echo testing. Caught it there. Tuned it up. One up to 10.
Whiskey 4 Uniform Yankee Echo testing. And that's in, in the, the, the internal ICOM 7300 tuner catches it on all the, on all the bands. So uh, that's, that's good to know. Um, of course, I, I, I knew that, but uh, I just wanted to show you guys it does catch it on all the bands. The internal tuner, I don't have to use the external tuners on here. I just use the internal tuner. Typically tunes it in about half a second or so. So that's a little bit about the Alpha Antennas HOA Buster Antenna System, uh, in case you were curious. I've got, uh, I showed you the rain gutters I've got out there. I've got 84 feet of extruded aluminum rain gutters. And I've been using that for about a year and a half. And I've got probably 2,000 contacts. And I think it's nearly 70 different countries at this point. Uh, I've had great luck, luck with it. I always get good signal reports. It tunes wherever I need it to. I use it uh, SSB and digital mode. And uh, it's just another tool in the toolbox, maybe an option that would work for you uh, if you live in an area where you cannot put up a proper antenna or you just want another antenna to uh, put into another radio. So certainly something you want to look into and check out. Anyway, thank you for joining me today. And uh, we'll catch you a little bit later down the log. This is Whiskey 4 Uniform Yankee Echo. And I'll be clear on your final.